What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown and in this video we are going to be jumping into Wolverine issue number 45. This is Sabretooth War part 5. Wolverine is on the hunt. Now looking for vengeance against Sabretooth it is time to take the fight to him. He is headed to Krakoa after Kid Omega had put out a Hail Mary SOS signal. It was able to reach Wolverine and the others. While this is going on, the Sabertooth that really jumped on board along with our Sabertooth Prime, they don't like his leadership. They think that it is time for somebody else to be in charge. They know that they can't take him on alone, which means they need some help. The son of Sabertooth. They are gonna go rescue Graydon and bring him back so that he can kill his father. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, oh, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we pick up with Victor Creed, holding the head of Kid Omega in the box that Orcus created, something specifically to control Kid Omega and use his powers at their whim. In the hands of Sabretooth, this is one of the most deadliest weapons in the world. But he has come to Krakoa because he is looking for something hidden underneath the surface of the island. Opening up a passageway, they are able to get inside. As the two travel through the darkened caverns, we learn that Sabretooth didn't tell the others what he is looking for down here. He sees himself as top dog, as the Alpha, taking us back to Station 5, the home base for Sabretooth and his army. We have the other two Sabretooths that are preparing to go get Graydon. They're still a little unsure about this because Graydon, he has been killing Sabretooths across the multiverse. His whole purpose was that, which means when they go try to get him, they're probably gonna have to fight him. Luckily, one of them is a Sabretooth shapeshifter. Opening up the portal, they send them through. They're gonna need reinforcements, and the only person that hates Victor Creed more than them is his son. Meanwhile, we have the Exiles who are making their way to Krakoa themselves. They plan to take down Sabretooth to use the death seed that they were given to put him down once and for all. The only problem, they didn't know that Krakoa was surrounded by Stark Sentinels. And with one of the Sentinels picking them up, things just got a lot different for them considering they have all the children still on board. Jumping down into the depths of Krakoa, we are now in Forge's lab. Sabretooth and Kid Omega making their way through, but this place has been trashed. As they make their way through the corridors underneath Krakoa, this is when something attacks them. A giant century created by Forge, one that cannot be detected by Sabretooth or anybody else. This gives the little century an opportunity to get a hit on him. A safety measure left behind by Forge, undetectable even to the likes of Sabretooth. But that doesn't stop Sabretooth from ripping this thing to pieces in a matter of moments. Forcing Kid Omega to show him where the next room is. Underneath their feet, there is a hatch. And Kid Omega also knows that the defenses down there, they are substantial. This means he's gonna need a little bit of backup, trying to get in communication with the other Sabertooths. They refuse to answer him, trying to buy their time, trying to make sure that they can get Great and Creed here. And they do, but grabbing hold of him, apparently he looks very disfigured. Something happened to his face. But having their weapon now with them, we pick up with the Exiles being chased down by a Stark Sentinel. Obviously, they gotta get out of this situation. They assume since it was patrolling around Krakoa, that if they get far enough away, it'll stop chasing. That's exactly what they do. They point the ship directly into the air and they take off into the atmosphere. And the Stark Sentinel falls back. This is where we pick up with Wolverine, coming in hot and fast. Located directly above Krakoa, the Sentinels open fire. They destroy his ship and Wolverine goes flying. But this doesn't stop him. With boots on ground, he makes a run for it. He hops right into that cave. And the Sentinels crash it down behind him. As we pick up with Saber 2 saying that the idiots are not answering him. He knows this hatch is going to lead him where he needs to go. Preparing to take this on himself, that's when he smells the runt. With Kid Omega bragging that he is coming here for blood. This he is about to go full on berserker mode on you. But as Wolverine makes his way into the room, Sabretooth had a trick up his sleeve. 
Of course, that is Kid Omega, using Kid Omega to grab on to Wolverine's mind. In a matter of seconds, his entire surroundings change, his mind under the control of Kid Omega. And so what Wolverine sees when he walks into the room is his old pal Sabretooth. Don't really know if you could call him a pal, but back to his Weapon X days. And Sabretooth is saying that you arrived just in time, that we're about to head out on mission. The mission is a smash and grab. And so Sabretooth is using Kid Omega to get into the mind of Wolverine, tricking him into going down here as if it is a mission that they have to do. He is going to use Wolverine to get through the Sentinels and get whatever Forge has hiding down here. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. These Wolverine comics have all been relatively quick. That's not to say that they're bad issues, but you can tell that they really had to draw this out. With Wolverine ending at issue number 50, they had about 10 issues that they had to close out in the time frame given, which meant two issues every month, and they're just not gonna be great in, in terms of how long they are gonna get a lot of filler issues like this one because honestly this story could have been told in a couple of pages and moved on to what is next but we're getting our pieces where they belong wolverine is now with Sabretooth, but he is under the the powers the control of kid omega we can assume that kid omega is going to do something to make wolverine remember and then the battle between wolverine and Sabretooth will finally take place at least we can hope, but knowing that there are a handful of more issues, we can assume that nobody is going to win, somebody might get a little beat up, but is able to get away. Graydon Creed is definitely going to be playing a factor into all of this, considering he absolutely hates Sabretooth, any and all of them. Not a whole lot going on when it comes to gore, when it comes to violence. There wasn't a lot of fighting going on in this. Like I said, a really filler issue, hoping that the next issue really brings something to the table. With the Krakoan era ending, I'm excited to see how this ends and where we are going to see Wolverine fall as all of this comes to its completion. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you want to get caught up on everything that has been going on with the Wolverine comics. Go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's gonna get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.